In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God the Father created the Church through the Son and formed by the Holy Spirit. He created the Church in order to gather all His children to restore His image in them and to re-establish the relationships of love. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, being incarnated and became the Son of Man, in Him the union of the created and uncreated was realized. He descended to our weak humanity to destroy death and gave us the hope of resurrection. Now by His incarnation, He can reside in us through the Holy Spirit. In other words, Jesus is the mediator between God and the Church. St. Basil the Great gave us a real definition of the Church. He said, it's a new creation that appeared in the world with the coming of the God-man Jesus Christ. In it, a new covenant was entered into between God and His people in Christ, not only, however, as a New Testament, or simply attitude of men towards God, and not only in the sense of new life, but as a new ontological creation. So the new creation is the body of Christ. In the second epistle to the Corinthians chapter 5, St. Paul said, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to Himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to Himself. And in the epistle to the Ephesians chapter 2, He said, For He Himself is our peace, who had made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is, the law of commandments contained in ordinance, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. Before his incarnation, Christ didn't have a body, therefore, the Church before the Incarnation couldn't exist as a body of Christ. So the Church is a direct result of the Incarnation of the Son of God. From the beginning of this world, the intention of God's work was the creation of an environment in which humans were supposed to live and grow in love. They were created with the ability to have relationship with the true in God and with each other in order to acquire better knowledge of their Creator, that at the end they may attain the mind of Christ. The community of people could become the best place for the realization of God's plan for all humans who are in need of interpersonal relations. The Church should be lived as a community of free persons confirming Himself as the body of Christ, a body glorified and healed of sin and death by the Lord's resurrection, a body of which we, the divided, become partakers of the divine love and life. Amen.